So to enable certain features in my Golf, like CarPlay, Performance Monitor and Voice Control, you're telling me I need to pay hundreds. Yeah, you're mad if you think I'm paying for that. So instead, I'm gonna hold down the menu button and tap the first one to find my software version. This video is gonna be specific to those that have MIB2 standard that ends in a D for Dunger. So keep that in mind. First thing I need to do is make sure I'm on any of these versions. Luckily, I showed you how to do that in the last video. Tap the back button, swap or software as product codes, a VW's way of selling you extra features like CarPlay or voice control through effect or function enabling code. A bit similar to a product key on a computer or a Steam key for a game. Supported codes are ones that aren't necessarily installed in my car but can be installed. And of course, installed ones are features my car currently has. I'm gonna take pictures of the contents in both screens because I'll need them for later. Next, I'll tap into any of my installed codes and take note of my VIN and VCRN as I'll need those for later too. Grab an SD card over 4 gig and shove it in my computer. Format it to Mortal32, making sure I set the allocation size to the smallest possible. Downloaded this file from the link in my YouTube description and copied common, exception and meta directly to the root of the SD card. Now remember the photos we took of the FET codes. Head on over to this site to translate what those bakwas numbers actually mean. For example, this is the one that enables CarPlay. Open the AdFX text file and remove all the ones that aren't supported by your unit. Remember, I'm checking it against the pick I took of the supported codes in the car. Keep the ones for the new features you want to enable too, only if they're supported. I'm adding the code for voice control since my car didn't come with it. I'm gonna get rid of this one because I don't want my voice being projected out the rear speakers. It's a goal not a Tehran. Control S to save and close the file. Remember I took note of the VIN and VCRN. Input the 10 digit VCRN in this text file and the 17 digit VIN in this one. Save them, then get rid of the file extension. Hit yes for both and that's the SD card done. Take it out and head back to the car. Drop the glove box and take out the existing card for navigation data. Slot in the new card we just prepared. Oh yeah, turn the engine on so the battery doesn't die in the process. Now it's just like a normal software update. Hold down the menu button for three seconds and hit software update at the top. Tap update in the top right. SD card and then the activator. Hit start and next. Now play the waiting game. During the update the unit will restart twice so go grab yourself some chai or something. Hit back then cancel and one more reboot later. Come on! I've just unlocked myself voice control. But wait, just as you thought it was all over, there's one more step we've got to do. On OBD11, inside the 5F module for multimedia and the radio module, we'll be greeted with this new fault code but I'll show you how to remove these properly in the next one, so make sure you hit subscribe.